Stony Brook Hall of Fame 2022 and a very special Hall of Fame class with us tonight, the 2012 baseball team, and we're with Max Dissenbaum from that team. Max, great to see you, man. Welcome back to Stony Brook. Thank you. It's great to see you, too. Absolutely. What does this mean, getting to go into the hall with all your teammates? It's absolutely incredible. Um, I remember when you guys told us that on the, uh, the sneak preview of the uh, World Series video. Uh, signed off of that, and it was just overwhelmed with emotion. Um, so exciting. It's, it's unbelievable to see everybody again. I mean, like the last time we were all in one place at the same time, we were in the locker room in Omaha, and now it's like guys are married, guys have kids. It's, uh, it's unbelievable to see everybody again. But that's the cool thing is the bond has stuck with you guys the entire time, even 10 years later, right? Oh, yeah. The group chat has, uh, <laughs> has never gone away, um, still lights up every so often and runs off the rails for a little while. Um, but, yeah, every, it's like you pick up like it was just yesterday, and it's over 10 years ago, so it's, it's awesome. Looking back at what you guys did, making it all the way to Omaha, the College World Series, we've talked so much about it, Max, but you guys knew there was a belief heading into that season. What made that run so special to actually see it through? I think, I think it actually like it goes back to the year before and coming up short in the conference tournament and then bring everybody back pretty much, add in some, some new guys in that freshman class, and to be able to put it all together, win the conference, go down, win a regional, which like, obviously none of us had ever done, go down to LSU, unbelievable atmosphere, huge crowds, win a super regional, and then the next thing you know, there's 25,000 people in Omaha. Um, it was just unbelievable to experience the whole thing. And then you had all the stuff with the draft and everybody being together for the whole thing. It really, like you said, it's a brotherhood, and, and we were just, we were all pulling for each other every single day of that run. Max, how much does this program mean to you and your teammates? You've been connected with it since your graduation, as have so many of your other teammates. Coach Sank from the top down, what does it mean for Stony Brook baseball to be such a big part of your guys' lives? It's, it's a huge part of my life. I mean, it's, it's something that I've talked about with kids that I've coached, with you know, people that have recruited me for jobs. Um, and I think that goes for everybody. I mean, it's, it's a brand as a school academically. People know that they're getting high caliber people, high caliber academics. And then athletically, I mean, to be able to put the school on the map like that, you know, knock off a team like LSU, knock off Miami. Um, it's just, it's incredible to be able to be a part of a moment like that in, in the history of a school. Um, and I'm, I'm always proud to wear my red and put the Seawolf on. Well, it's a proud night for you guys. Enjoy it, my friend. Well-deserved. Thank you so much.